Brianna Zunino Denison, March 29, 1988. January 20, 2008, was a college student from Santa Barbara, California who was abducted on January 20, 2008 from a friend's house in Reno, Nevada. Her body was discovered on February 15, 2008 in a field near Reno Business Park after being raped and murdered. A man named James Bila was convicted of the murder. Background Brianna attended Reno High School in Reno, Nevada, graduating in June 2006. Dennison was at home during winter break from Santa Barbara City College, where she was studying psychology. She and her friends had attended events tied to a summer winter action tour LLC, a travel agency that caters to students. Martin Luther King Jr. weekend in Reno. Dennison had reportedly attended this event in the past. Brianna was last seen alive on January 20, 2008 at about 4 a.m. Pacific time at her friend's house near the University of Nevada campus. This residence is on Mackay Court in Reno, where she was staying after attending a party at the Sands Regency on North Arlington Avenue. Her friend K.T. Hunter woke up at around 9 a.m. and could not find Denison. A small bloodstain was found on the pillow Denison used to sleep on that night, which led her friend to alert Brianna's parents and then local authorities. Denison had left the house without her shoes, cell phone or purse. Authorities believe she was wearing only sweats and a white tank top. She was later found to have been dressed in only bright orange colored socks. In the following days, the Reno Police Department conducted a forensic investigation of the Mackay Court residence where Brianna was staying when she was abducted and found touch DNA belonging to an unidentified male on the doorknob. They also discovered that blood on the pillow was Denison's. Investigators began focusing on a kidnapping scenario. Search on January 21, 2008, detectives began sweeping the University of Nevada, Reno area in search of Denison. The Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, also joined in the search efforts. Investigators later learned that the male DNA found on the couch where Denison was sleeping the night when she disappeared was linked with at least two previous sexually motivated attacks in the same area, one on November 13th and the second on December 16th, 2007.0 N. January 29th, 2008. Arena woman claimed she knew another victim who said she was raped at gunpoint in a garage on the University of Nevada, Reno campus in October 2007 but had not reported the crime. Police began interviewing nearly 100 registered sex offenders who live within a mile of the Mackay Court home. Around 1,700 volunteers helped with the search of a 100 square mile, 260 km2 area during the time Denison was missing, including Nevada's then First Lady Dawn Gibbons, wife of then Governor Jim Gibbons. Oh, and February 15, 2008, Albert Jimenez of Reno was returning from his lunch break at a Subway restaurant. As he was walking by the road, he noticed bright orange-colored fabric standing out among a pile of discarded tree limbs that were lying in a ditch. When he approached closer, he discovered the neon orange socks were attached to feet. What at first he thought was a mannequin turned out to be a deceased woman. Jimenez had heard about Brianna Dennison's kidnapping but didn't think the victim resembled photographs he'd seen on billboards. Jimenez didn't have a cell phone with him so he quickly returned to his place of employment, EE Technologies, to call Reno police. When police arrived to the South Reno lot, Jimenez was told that the victim was Dennison. On February 16th, 2008, an autopsy report confirmed that the body found in a field near Reno Business Park was Brianna Dennison. Suspect on January 29, 2008, Reno police released a description of the unknown perpetrator. The person in question was also linked to at least two attempted sexual assaults in November and December 2007, and a woman claimed to have been raped in a parking garage in October. Previous victims also gave enough detailed information for police to draw up a sketch of the suspect. An item of underwear was found near Dennison's body along with the DNA of the perpetrator and the DNA of an unknown female. 
police said that the clothing item did not belong to Denison and that it might have been left near her body to taunt the investigators. Police asked that anyone who recognized the clothing item as theirs come forward as they might know the identity of the perpetrator. Arrest on Tuesday, November 25, 2008, James Michael Bila, 27, of Sparks, Nevada, was arrested and booked at the Washoe County Jail on charges of murder, first-degree kidnapping, and sexual assault. The arrest occurred while he was dropping his son off at the Stepping Stones Children's Center in Reno. A DNA sample was collected from Bila. He had previously been arrested in 2001 for threatening his former girlfriend's neighbor with a knife. In a press conference held by the Reno Police Department on Wednesday, November 26, 2008, it was confirmed that the DNA collected from Bila matched the DNA found at the crime scene, positively linking him to both the murder of Brianna Dennison and a previous sexual assault. At this same press conference, it was also stated that Bila had been turned in by a friend of Bila's girlfriend via secret witness on November 1, 2008. Bila's girlfriend had confided to this friend that she had found underwear unknown to her in Bila's truck as they were coming back from Washington State, where Bila had taken a job in March. Widespread news media reports began circulating that included a police sketch of a suspect and a description of a vehicle used in another rape the month before Brianna's abduction. According to Reno Police Department Chief Michael Polman, Bila was questioned by detectives after the secret witness tip came in. He denied involvement and declined to provide a DNA sample. Bila's girlfriend was also questioned and gave police permission to obtain DNA from her four-year-old son, whom Bila had fathered. The test indicated that a direct relative of his had left DNA at the home where Brianna Dennison was abducted and at the other rape that had taken place the prior month. With this evidence, Reno police obtained an arrest warrant and one for Bila's DNA. Chief Pullman announced at the press conference that the Washoe County Sheriff's Department Crime Lab had tested Bila's DNA and found it matched DNA from the Dennison case and another rape. Washoe County District Attorney Dick Gamak told reporters at the news conference he would be prosecuting the case with one of his lead criminal deputies, Elliot Sattler, and that his office would be seeking the maximum penalty for Bila, up to and including the death penalty. It was also announced that Bila, on his way to Washington, had sold in Idaho his truck which matched the description of the vehicle used in the previous sexual assault. At the press conference, Officials said the vehicle was being returned to Reno to be searched and used as evidence in the case against him. Trial and sentencing on Thursday, May 27, 2010, Bila was found guilty of the murder of Brianna Dennison. The jury returned a guilty verdict for all counts against Bila, which included kidnapping, sexual assault and murder after deliberating for about nine hours. Defense attorneys argued against the death penalty, stating that Bila suffered an abusive childhood due to an alcoholic father, that he had been a productive member of society prior to his crimes and that he was a model prisoner. Jurors did not accept these mitigating factors and handed out the death sentence. On July 30, 2010, Judge Robert Perry sentenced Bila to four additional life sentences for multiple counts of rape and kidnapping associated with attacks on two victims prior to Dennison's abduction and murder. Bila has appealed to the Nevada Supreme Court to reverse the denial of his 2012 writ of habeas corpus by the Washoe County 2nd Judicial District Court. His appeal has most recently been denied on June 12, 2019, whereby the Nevada Supreme Court Considered Bila's arguments in concluding that they do not warrant relief, we order the judgment of the district court affirmed. Aftermath The sale of handguns, stun guns and pepper spray increased dramatically in the University of Nevada, Reno area after Dennison's body was found. Dennison's mother founded the Bring Pre Justice Foundation to try to implement changes after Dennison's body was found. Oh, and February 23rd. 2008, hundreds of people attended a vigil held in Reno for Denison. Media attention The case received prominent national media attention, including coverage by national news services Fox News Channel, CNN, 
ABC News, MSNBC, and CBS News. It was televised in 2008 on an episode of Dr. Phil and was featured as case number 7 in the 2009 E. Entertainment Special, Young Beautiful and Vanished, 15 Unthinkable Crimes. The case was also on 2020 Unknown, and the 90s Unusual Suspects, Vanished in Reno Season 6 Episode 1. See also List of Solved Missing Persons Cases. References External links The Reno News and Review The official family site dedicated to Brianna Zunino Denison Federal Bureau of Investigation Kidnapping Investigation Brianna Zunino Denison Texas EquiSearch Brianna Denison America's Most Wanted Brianna Denison Missing Person America's Most Wanted Unknown Brianna Denison Killer Fugitive City of Reno Brianna Denison Investigation